Hello everybody and welcome to the old stream farm version 2. You're probably thinking, what are you doing? Why are you driving down the road with a harvester with its header on? Well, we're taking it to the cell point. We're actually getting rid of it today. And this is a bit of a challenge for us because although it's only a very short distance, getting it to the cell point is going to be very tough because I'm afraid farming simulator is full of very inconsiderate drivers. Yes, they will never pull over for you and they reluctantly stop for you. They don't want to. It's only because if they don't stop, they'll be crashing into us. This hill is going to be a challenge. If anybody comes down it, we've had it and they have had it. For it. If we put it on a header trailer, it would solve all of our problems. But buying a header trailer just for going up here is going to be tough. Please, car, please, just. Oh, you could have just waited. Oh, you're lucky. We got it past. So we're here. And the reason why we're doing it at the dead of night is because of the traffic, really. I wanted to keep it as, as quiet as possible. But it seems the traffic is just as busy at night as it is during the day. So, let's park this over here. Just in the cell point. I've noticed the trigger sticks out a bit. So if we put it back here, that should be the best place. Uh, we'll turn the beacons off too. Now, this is... A slightly tough decision because we're selling a new harvester to replace it with a harvester from I think the 90s. It is a Dominator, Class Dominator 88 we're going to buy. And yeah, this harvester is worth about, what would it be, 200,000 including header. And we're going to replace it with a harvester which is worth 30,000 including header. So it's, it's a bizarre situation, but it is going to work quite well. 25,000 just for the header. Uh, I think that's what pretty much what it is for the whole thing. And, oh, okay. There it is. £157,671 for the harvester. Now, we are left with a very healthy figure. £237,802. Very impressive. However, we don't just need to buy a harvester. We need to buy various different things. In fact, we need to buy animals as well. So this is going to be done over a course of probably 10 episodes. Uh, from now onwards, we're going to buy different livestock and machines and stuff. But today, I really want to just focus on a new tractor. And you're probably thinking, oh, you idiot, don't go and spend £200,000 on a tractor, leaving just 37000 It's okay. I have um, been reading the classifieds, as I do, and I have come across <laughs> a compact tractor instead as you'll probably know I'm obsessed with compact tractors in real life so this is just going to be perfect for me and hopefully for you as well watching. So let's go into the store and we are going to look and see what it is which I found. I was going to get a vintage tractor actually but I just came across this while I was searching and oh it's just it's almost perfect. It's not, not quite perfect because it's based on a New Holland T4 um, but it's pretty good. £4,750 this is used it's not new it would be considerably higher than this, the price, if it was new. And you can even fit a front loader, adding £800 to the value. So we're going to buy that, plus we're going to buy the branded front loader. The link, by the way, and the credits are down below for this. This is £1,500, again, a used price. It's about four or £5,000 for a new front loader for these. Um, which means it was a total of £7,050. Not bad at all. This is going to be our runabout vehicle. A bit of yard shunting, that kind of thing. Maybe even for feeding the animals as well. Because some of these animal sheds, they're pretty low. And getting a bigger tractor in there is quite tough. Love the exhaust. That is fantastic. Such a smooth fit. So, yeah, we're going to use this for a number of things, including moving bales eventually. But I don't think we'll be moving bales today. What I want to do is actually clear the grass from field number, uh, well, grass field number five, because it's going to regrow again and we'll lose it. So I don't think we can do that with this tractor because it doesn't have enough horsepower, even for the smallest loading wagon. So just temporarily, we are just going to take this back to the yard. We don't have a job for it just yet. Um, but yeah, this kind of, it does kind of replace the skid steer. But I'm reluctantly going to uh, not sell it because it can still be used quite a bit for different jobs. 
Whoa, that car just sunk into the road. Crazy car. So there's the field we're going to work in, first of all. Yes, it hasn't grown at all. That is good. Businessman. Oh. Testing out our brakes here. But as you can see, the dashboard is all branded as John Deere, which is just perfect. In fact, the whole of the front end is perfect as well. It's been well made. The T4 was actually used as a base model for a compact tractor in FS15 as well. It just seems to be the best one to go for. Uh, oh yes, we should probably slow down time. To real time. It doesn't need to be speeded up. Oh, do the indicators work on the dashboard? Yes, they do. So you know I just forgot to use them. I need to use them again in future. Uh, I'm hoping to use this today for a different job. But I have already tried it on the Pottinger and it was just not powerful enough. But that is okay, because we can use the case. So we'll put it here, just to begin with. There it is, in all its glory. Looking very nice. Um, if we ever do find ourselves struggling, we could get rid of the skid steer, but I don't want to. I really want to keep it. It would be good. Um, plus, I, I don't want to get rid of too much stuff. That can be moved with the compact tractor later on. So, where is the case? Where have I put it? This is my problem. I put a tractor away and forget where I've put it. I've forgotten. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so, uh, oh yes, yes, thank you as well for everybody who voted in the previous episode about the Cedars. And, yeah, most people, I think about 75% of those of you who voted, said to get rid of the newer Cedar, the one you can see in front of us, next to the cultivator. But make sure I use all the seed and fertiliser first. Very good point. It is not cheap. We must use it. Which means we actually can't get rid of it at all until we have replanted a field. Every field that we own is now seeded, or planted, so yeah, we're going to have to wait until the harvest. I think we'll be buying the Dominator in the next episode. I have downloaded it, it's in my mods folder. It actually got removed from ModHub, it, I don't know why, it could be because it's being updated. So I'd rather wait and get an updated version if that is the reason behind it. Any pedestrians? Nope. Good. This is becoming a, a bit of a common occurrence running over pedestrians here. Now, it's £31,000 to buy this loading wagon. So, yeah, it's not too much, but I think for what it is, it's a bit steep. It'd be good if we could buy stuff used. Where is it? What, what am I doing? How come I can't see it? There it is. The Pottinger Euroboss 330T. £31,000. But it is needed, and I don't want to keep bailing. We do a lot of bailing, so having a different approach is good. Oh, that is sad to see. Only £199,000 in our bank balance. It looked much better when we had two. Oh well. We will have some big harvests soon, because we have got... How many is it? Four fields? Yeah, four fields are planted. And, oh yeah, um... Periodic ploughing. I'm just going to switch it off because I do tend to forget. However, this is the perfect map for the periodic ploughing, so I may well turn it on again very soon. Now this should be quite good, as there is a fair bit of cut grass here. The field itself is, yeah, it's not exactly big at all. Pretty small. But yeah, I'm hoping it's going to be good. Let's just see. Yeah, it's not too bad. I think actually this swath seems fairly weak. The least grass is here because this is where we drove when we were cutting. So it should fill up much quicker in a second. There we go. That's speeded up. The best place for this is just in a shed, undercover. This is primarily just for the sheep, because they're the only animal which actually requires this as a raw product. However, the cows do require fermented silage, 
which is technically this, just fermented. But I don't think we'll have enough to fill a silage pit. So we'll do a maize harvest at some point. I guess we'll have to get a contractor. Our farm isn't really big enough to justify having a forage harvester. Using a contractor is going to be a much better and more realistic approach. Now our fields are now growing. The growth rate is on normal, but yeah, as you can see, the, the time rate is in real time. So it's still going to be quite some time before we have a harvest, but as we only have usually one episode a week, there may be some progress between now and then. So there could be a field ready to harvest, I'm not too sure. Now it looks like we're going to get all of this into one load. In fact, it probably is going to be one load exactly. Which isn't too bad. We're certainly going to be doing this again, so we have to keep the pottinger. Oh yes, and the rolls as well. They do need to be taken back to the other farm. But... I need to think of some form of transportation for it. I think taking it down the road as it is, it's a bit destructive to the road surface and a bit destructive to the rollers. So we are going to have to get some form of transport trailer. Just being very careful with our money. We have to be careful. Right, so there is, I think, two swaths of grass left somewhere in the middle. Maybe a bit here. It can be quite hard to see. Yeah, two bits in the middle. I think it is. It's going to be about 80 or 90%. And that is it. Just a tiny bit left here. It turns out to be 75%. Can we get 76%? I can't see why not. Okay, I can see why not, because we didn't get it. 75%. Good. Let's go and put it somewhere, out the way. Perfect view of the farm from up here. Really nice. Right, so we just need to mine a pedestrian, uh, which that car didn't do. It's a dangerous bit of road. So what I'm essentially doing is just gathering the resources which we require to have different animals. But I don't want to do this too much because what we've kind of got here is three maps at the same stage. So what I'm going to do is eventually get rid of one because we are repeating ourselves quite a bit here. That was a bit of a frame rate drop. Not sure that was about. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to have two. Two maps. Definitely this one. Why is it lagging? That's weird. Hmm. Let's hope it recovers. Yeah, I haven't really decided. I think... Well, the one we've been playing the most is going to be the first one to go. Wexcombe. But that is a shame, because that has been a really good map. I think 25 episodes is going to be just right for it, really. Because we're on an episode about 17 or 18... So, there's still, you know, there's still about seven episodes left. Now, is this the best place for it? What is this place? I'm not too sure. I guess it would work. Oh, that's filling up quick. That is filling up very quick. Well, there we go. That, that is impressive. There's the silage pit, but we don't need to put it in there because we're not fermenting it. Next time we will do. So that is this tractor's job done for today. We'll find a good place for the pottinger. Maybe actually behind us. Yes, just to the right. We'll put it in here. And we will put the tractor next to it. Yes, manual attaching. I keep forgetting. There is now a mod on Mod Hub. The manual attaching mod. I need to get it. I keep forgetting. I don't know why I keep forgetting, because I think about it every episode I record. Uh, but yeah, we definitely need to. Um, so yes, that is 
that job done. Let's check the map and see what progress is. Uh, we'll be able to see, hopefully, the growth. Yes, it's all just sort of just in the stage of growing, the early stages. Nothing we can really do. I don't think anything needs to be fertilised just yet. No. So, actually, let me just see. Fill number one. Has it sprouted? If it's sprouted, we can get a weeder. But it hasn't, so no. Not just yet. We'll have to find a different job to do. Right, so we've just been given a job. The local farmer has said, you can use my tractor, which is very kind. Um, and you can even use it to do the job which I want you to do. So that saves all of the, the wear and tear on our machinery. We need to spread this field. Now this is going to be an incredibly quick job as the spreader we have is slightly bigger than the one we have on Coldborough Park Farm. Uh, so the working width is going to be pretty good. Plus we have a Fence 700. I'm not sure exactly its number. Let's just take a look. 716. So not a bad one at all. Uh, but yeah, it, it's a small field. This needs to be done. And it's a bit of extra cash for us. And we can usually do it in about half the time it says. So I think we'll have about three minutes or so left. I am going to do the headland first. Just because of the shape of the field. Gives us a good opportunity to use a bigger and newer tractor because we certainly won't be owning anything like this on this farm. We just can't really afford to put that kind of money into our farm because we have we have four fields, four very small arable fields. I have considered actually ploughing one of our grass fields just to get more land as even a small field on here is in the region of 80 to 100,000 euros. So yeah, we, we might have to convert a grass field in a future video. So many trees though. This map would be perfect for forestry. We'll have to do forestry at some point, but just trying to get on my feet really. We've got the crops in. That was the first thing we had to do, desperately. Uh, we're now really just sitting about twiddling our thumbs because there's nothing else to do. We don't even own any pig, sheep or cows. I guess we could get some sheep, as they're pretty cheap and easy to work with. I've just had an idea actually. What we could do is have just a sheep farm. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but we could have loads of sheep. Instead of having just a few of each animal type, just have loads of sheep and we'll finally be able to reap the rewards from the wool, which I've never been able to do before in FS17. Is that a good idea? Should we just have sheep? That would be pretty fun, I think, really. I mean, it's a lot of wool, but the money would just be immense. Let's get this finished off. We've got three and a half minutes left. That's going to be good. Come on. Don't make us look for bits. Thank you. So again, we have managed to bring our money back up to £204,000. I am pleased. You can probably tell. We have money and we have a compact tractor. All we need now is some sheep. This is £24,000. Is that justifiable? How much does it cost to have the animal transported to our farm? Um, we'll have to check. Where did the sheep go? Here. The sheep pasture. Okay, so right next to the main yard. That keeps it easy. There's not going to be too much space here for like 200 sheep. But it should be okay, I'm hoping. Um, yes, let's buy some. So we have come to the slaughterhouse to buy our sheep. It seems like a strange place to come to, but we have done. And they have got their sheep going for £500 each which is perfectly reasonable for us. Uh, the fee is quite high. That is the delivery fee. 
I was thinking about 50 sheep. Yeah, that's 10,000 pounds. Yeah, I would say it is going to be worth buying the trailer. So to justify the price of the animal trailer, we have to buy at least 120 sheep to essentially get something in return. Because if we didn't buy the trailer and we bought 120 sheep, we would actually be giving away 24,000. So I think we're gonna have to get it. Um, it. This might seem like a really expensive decision to make. 84,000 pounds, including a trailer, for sheep. But if that's what our farm is going to be, to start off with at least, then it's gonna be worth it. I want you to let me know what you think to my idea. It could be bad, it could be good. Um, but just before we do buy anything, I will just show you the price of wool, which is just here. Now this is a fairly average price. As you can see, it's not colored, so it's just average. And that is currently set at 5,595 pounds, which is really good. So I think we'll soon get our money back, very soon. Let's get a tractor, let's buy the trailer, and then buy 120 sheep. This may take some time to transport. We will, of course, transport most of them off screen. First of all, we need to change our John Deere's tires back to standard tires, as it has row crops on. There we go. There's a weird spawning issue here. Let's hope it doesn't do it again. Ready? Oh, good. It didn't. If you haven't seen the weird spawning issue, go to the previous episode and then go to the last five seconds of the video. You will see exactly what happens. It's crazy. Any pedestrians? Oh, there is. But we're okay. It seems really expensive, actually, if you think about it. You've got to buy at least 120 sheep to justify the trailer. I don't think many farms would buy that many sheep. But maybe it's just me saying that, I don't know. This is going to be fun anyway, because we've got loads of sheep to transport in a trailer, which is... Well, it's not exactly small, but the capacity isn't massive. There is a bigger trailer. But we're definitely not buying that because that is too expensive. Is there a quick way to go? Yes, I would say turn right out of here. That should get us there quicker. Now is it 10 sheep we can carry in one go? Pretty sure it is. If it is, it's going to be 12 loads. Which is undoubtedly going to take quite a bit of time but it must be done okay let's go down here the cars are actually waiting for us it is a rare sight here we are at the slaughterhouse so let's see how many we can transport in one go. I'm really hoping it's 10. Let's just see. Yes, it is. Good. That keeps it simple. So 12 loads. That is how many we're going to buy. Making 120 sheep. This is going to be immense. So how far is it? It's not too far. It's like the figure of eight road, turn right at the end of here. We have to contend with the slower traffic. That car didn't stop. There is a stop sign here. That pickup. Oh, it's so slow. Slow vehicle. 
Well, there's the farm. We just need to get there if we don't fall asleep first. Come on. Road rage. Oh. Oh, well. Better late than never, as they say. Especially as we have 11 lives on board. So I don't know how you actually get in there. I do have to open this first of all. There we go. Um, I'm sure it'll be become clear very soon. Let's just have a bit of trial and error here. Do we reverse into here or... I'm not too sure. I would have thought we would open up this gate here and then reverse in. see. Open. There we go. Yeah, so I'd have thought you'd do this. Let's put it in here. Yes. Unload all ten. Confirm. And there they are. Fantastic sheep. I would shut the gate every time, but it's going to take a very long time if we do that. So we've just got to be fast and hope they don't escape. Load number two. We can, of course, scroll. It's under the ten, so that's twenty. You see? My maths is pretty good. Ten plus ten. Oh, whoa, that was close. Seriously close. I almost smashed our sheep through a building. I think that would make us the most irresponsible farmer in the world. If we did that before we'd even left the buying place or well, I was gonna call it the auctioneers but then it's a slaughterhouse on it so it's not very convincing but yes that, that would be pretty bad Wow I must be careful now they all seem to still be there that is good Got some friends for them here you go uh, yes, unload. It is filling up. 120 does seem a bit extreme, but I just think it's going to be worth it because as some people do say in my comments, unless you have at least 100 sheep, the wool is like, it's totally pointless because they don't produce enough of it to be worthwhile. But if we just sort of focus on the one animal type, I feel we may succeed. And also, if we get their feed right, their productivity right, they will be reproducing super fast as well, which means even more sheep will be producing wool. Plus, we don't even have to kill them for this. They can have their wool sheared and still stay alive. They don't even have to visit the slaughterhouse. It is good. Here we are, low number three. I'm not going to record every load. I think you get the idea. Okay, mind their car. That's probably the manager's car. Oh, that is close. Oh, I didn't hit it. Oh, these collisions are sticking out a bit. I think technically we should have been given that. We should be able to go around that corner without getting stuck. But oh well. Here we go then. Load number 12. <laughs> Look how many tyre marks there are out there. Oh, it's taking some time. Um, yes, make sure we get sheep and not pigs. And we're still left with £120,000. We have planted every field we own. And that, as far as I'm aware, at least for the foreseeable future, is all of the animals we need as well. So from now onwards, our money can only go up, except for buying the water as that will cost money. Um, but no, I think we're actually, for the first time ever, in my Farming Mode 17 Let's Play history, we may actually succeed here. It's rare but true. So we're just gonna deliver these, 
then we'll have a look and see what 120 sheep looks like. I don't know if there'll actually be 120 sheep modelled in the field. If there is, it is going to be very busy. It doesn't look like there is. And I'm not counting them. But there is definitely 120 in there. As you can see from this page here, sheep owned 120. Cleanliness 100% soon going to drop. There's going to be quite a bit of poo about, although that is referring to feed. Uh, and yeah, when we do the, the grass, which we've already got, and the water, they're going to require an awful lot. So yeah, I think it's a good job that we cut that field earlier. It really was a good thing. In the next episode, that is when we'll give them their water and their grass. Uh, that is actually it for today. But there we go, 120 sheep in a field. I just hope I have done the right thing. I think I have. And even if I haven't, it's going to be so interesting to see how quickly the wool pallet fills up. It should be really fast. So, yeah, there we have it. 120 sheep on the old stream farm. Thank you for watching. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.